is Amarachi Ome from Ebony State, Nahuku local government. I started coming to Zion last year, August, after the 100 days uh, fasting and prayer. One of my friends from Benin introduced me to Zion. So I called one of my junior brothers who stay in Lagos here. I asked him about the, if he know anything about Zion. He said, yes, that he normally attend the program. So I told him to send me the link that I want to come. So he sent me the link. I started following online. Then I normally, I now told my husband about it. I normally, we normally travel from, all the way from beneath to Lagos here with my kids. So we came about five times before our day she program. So on 29th January 2023, we, we located from Benin to Lagos because of, so that we'll be attending this program. I'm seen an accident victim. Accident victim. Accident victim. Accident victim. He's been abandoned on the road. Oh, the sister is watching. He don't even know that your brother is on the road right now. Your brother is helpless. But I see good Samaritan appearing. Amen. I see help coming to him. Amen. Oh, he, she will come and give testimony. Amen. As I'm speaking now, your brother is lifeless on the road. He will have died. But by the mercy of God of Zion ministry, the Holy God will serve in Zion ministry. I see help coming to him. Amen. Somebody will now take him to hospital. I see him being rushed to hospital. Amen. And I see him recovering. In the name of J E S S T. So that night was the day we located from Benin to Lagos. So I was really tired. So I managed to follow the program. I said I, I, I will not be I will not miss to I will not miss the program because of the tiredness. So I tried logging I tried logging online to watch the program, but the network was really bad. But at the point of this prophecy, the network cleared. So I had the prophecy, but I never knew that the prophecy was mine. So it was the following day. That was Monday morning. That's it. So I, I saw my mom's missed call on my phone, but I couldn't return the call because I was, I was, I was, I was, I was busy. So it was in the night. My elder sister called me. She told me that my elder brother is in Enugu, is in the hospital at Enugu State, that he was coming back from Anambra on the, night, uh, on the Sunday night and he had an accident. But someone, a stranger that he doesn't even know, took him and rushed him to the hospital. That, that the person paid for everything. That how the accident happened is that. <laughs> How the accident happened was that the front tire burst. When the, the front tire burst, so the, the, the motor now somersault like, and, and threw them on the bush. So he managed to jump out from the car and he hit his heart on a, on a rod. So the thing entered inside his heart like this and blood, 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 blood through his heart and he couldn't even breathe. So blood was coming out from his nose and from his eyes, from his mouth, before they rushed him to the hospital. But you no, know, the thing happened in the night, so nobody noticed that he jumped into the bush. So those people that rushed to their rescue managed to, to bring out those that they saw. He didn't know that my brother is still in the bush. So this man that came to rescue him is just God of Zion. That brought the angel. So the man now said, Ah, do you do, are you sure that there's no other victim in the bush? So they say, No, 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 that there's no that they have checked everybody. The man now entered the bush and started searching and saw my brother lying lifelessly. I came to return all the glory to 